Hello everyone and welcome back to the big build of Mega Aquarium. This is episode number three and we are fast sorting out our little shipwreck area over here. We've kind of built the uh, the basis of it, uh, but now we need to start filling it out and hopefully in this episode we will open this up to the public uh, and really start cracking on with this big build. We have now got the backpack dispenser. Interested to see how that all works. Uh, and of course, if you are enjoying this uh, big build so far, make sure you like all the videos, make sure you're commenting with your thoughts, ideas, if you have any as to what we could do to make this even cooler. Um, and of course, you know, hit that sub button, ring the notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on any of the uploads uh, for this playthrough series. Right, let's get the ecology poster out, just so that will help boost a few things. Um, do you know what? It's got to the point now where I almost don't freaking remember half of these things here. So we've got this one. Build a tank with an Antarctic scallop. Okay. Uh, 45 guessing. We'll probably get that once we open this side up because we'll have more fish to attract with people. We've unlocked those. They're in our rewards, I believe. I think we've unlocked those now. I think we've researched those and unlocked. And then another tank thing. Okay, so at some point we probably should think about doing this. Uh, the the chitchlids. Where are they? Um, let's get rid of some of these. So this is going to. Uh, yeah, that's that one. I'm interested in donating eight of the following animals to your aquarium, or have we already got these in somewhere? Or are they up here? Oh, they're there. Okay. Uh, right. So. But these are the freshwater ones again, and I still don't know. I haven't. I keep forgetting to uh, to go and look to see what it is that we need to make that uh, make that a thing. So I'm just going to double check. In the next one, do we get anything to do? Um, I don't think we do. Not that. Not that I can see there anyway. Okay. Watch that. Well, let's keep let's keep uh, let's keep plowing on for the time being. Not in aquarium tropical. So we got these are our ones at the moment. So we got a little small one. We could probably put a little small tank in somewhere. Uh, somebody did suggest about having like a little sort of showpiece tank. I think I've got a little idea for how that might look. Um, so we're going to have the walkway. Obviously, is going to come down here, and then we're going to bring them over here slightly for a little narrow walkway, and then it'll open up into a massive room with a massive tank in it. So I'm going to have a massive probably a floor tank um, in there so where they can just sort of walk around and then they have to walk around it and then move on. So that would be a very sort of small area, but very spe but for a very specific reason. Um, but we may need to, yeah, we've got to, just got to keep unlocking as many fish as humanly possible at this point. I mean, it says that they're compatible with freshwater tanks. It doesn't say that they have to be in there. It doesn't say they have to be in freshwater tanks, does it? So there's... I suppose there's there's half a chance that perhaps we can uh, just put them in normal tanks and it won't be a problem. Right, okay, fish-wise, so what we got? So we've got the schooling banner fish, needs a nice attack the size of 30, and there needs to be six of them. One, two, three, four, six. Uh, I reckon we can, we can stick a couple more in there. And in here we've got a wimp that cannot be housed with bullies, that is fine. Then we'll eat stormy corals, we'll stick a couple of those in there. We should really pause before they die. And in here we've got bullies, so they can't go in there with them. Porcupine puffer, they're a wimp, that's fine. They're armoured, eat crustaceans. Uh, I, I think they can go in there as well, you know. Get a couple of them in there. We are closing down some of these quite nicely, isn't it? So they can't go in there because they're bullies, they're, nib they're nibblers and a bully. Uh, can these one? These are a crustacean. I, I can't remember if any of the ones I've just put in there will eat at a fully grown size one to three. Okay, yeah, they can't go in there then. In which case, that is it for that tank. That is fine. So, we are going to have... We're going to need... Fair amount of stuff on here. What actually we're we gonna do? We're gonna move that log and have some of this on this on this side, I think. One of those. And then probably a large filter. Still doesn't quite get us over the line, my word. 
Can we can we do without that one? No. We definitely do need we do need that in there as well. Okay. Uh, fighting con. Oh, are they are they cons conspific? Look at that. Conspific. There we go. Uh, what is that with you lot? Okay, that's fine. You just because you love plants. that in there yeah that looks that looks quite cool doesn't it uh, we don't necessarily need anything on the palm trees it's gonna be I mean, we could stick the palm tree we were looking for something weren't we to kind of go in here and it does it fits the uh, the tropical theme right so we could could have it like that it gives us just you know makes it look a little nicer on the way in and then over here we are. So this is also going to be a new zone as well. So for our for our staff, this is going to be a new area for them to work in. So we are going to need to hire some more staff to come over here. Um, I think that's fine then. Let us begin to get our second zone set up. Oh, we've already we already did that bit. That's fine. Okay. So hire. We're going to need. For the time being, one feeder and one fixer should be enough. Who else have we got? Holy shit. Yeah, we'll have you. Anyone a strong fixer, you are. Right, so. Zone 2 for you. You're all going into zone 2. And then... Zone 2. So, you, Penny. Um, I might actually allow you to do both for now. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Uh, Caleb, I mean, you know, obviously you can, only, you can only really do one thing, but uh, just to make absolutely sure, we'll turn all that off. Accessory. Currently not assigned the backpack. How's your employees to carry ten times more animal feed? So I wonder then, like, if it, okay, in in the, in this middle area in here, I'm just wondering whether or not that means because there's obviously a lot of fish in there and a lot of them may be eating the same food. Does that mean that he can carry enough food that he can just go from tank to tank? I wonder if that's what that means. Uh, you will be doing nothing but fixing, sir. Let us try, shall we? So, the backpack dispenser. Not enough money. Okay, well, that's, that's kind of timed quite nicely, hasn't it? Uh, actually, as it happens, we are going to need to pick up these staff members. I hope that these are the right people. Penny, Ken, and Sven, Sven and Caleb, isn't it? Yep, so that's... Oh, that's all the right people. Uh, right, so yeah, how much is this backpack dispenser? It's £10,000! <laughs> okay, alright, well, uh, we... <laughs> We won't worry about that just for the moment. I think, uh, yeah, we'll we'll come back to that one in a later episode. Jesus Christ! Blackfin ice fish. Yeah. Well, oh, we. Oh, there you go. We have finally hit our limit on the number of things that we can have. Uh, right then. Let us, we'll let the money build up for the time being. So in this one then over here, so these are obviously crustaceans, which are a problem. We've just unlocked the, I don't know what reward we got for that. What did we get? Doesn't tell us, doesn't tell us what the significant reward was. 
I don't think it was money. I think it was a boost in prestige, I think. Right, sorry, back to this. So, that is a crustacean. That is a crustacean. Can they go in? No, because he'll eat. So, that mantis shrimp will eat other crustaceans. Of size one to eight. He is a, he's a horrible little bastard, isn't he? Is he a cons conspific? He is indeed. It's conspecific. And you will eat crustaceans. You might... He might actually be able to go in there. One to three. Yeah, he can. These two can go together. So it's quite a large tank, potentially. For, <laughs> for just two fish. Um, water quality, that's fine. He needs some, uh, some rocks and rubble. I think we're going to have to, uh, it's the only problem is that when you're at this stage is you kind of just have to reuse certain aspects of this and oh blimey so they need crabs supplements and mussels well it's a good thing we got that guy over here he's a level five uh thing and we don't have enough money to feed them all come on i need monies they'll last a, they'll last a day before they uh, get too upset How much money do they all cost? Supplement cabinet is 500. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. 22,500? Since when was it ever that fucking expensive? Okay, um, that's that's a problem. That is a big, big problem. We may have to uh, undo those fish that we've just got. It we just put in there. Twenty-two and a half thousand pounds for supplements. I mean, effectively, you just got to put one in and ha and house a large portion of your entire aquaria. I, I don't understand how. Okay, right, well. I, was it that expensive? I don't remember it being that expensive in the um, in the main campaign. Unless it's, uh, one of my mods has, has changed that. God damn. Okay, right. Well, which one of these two is it that, wrote, what, that wants supplements? It's the, it's the... It's that one. What's four or more different decorations? There we go, right, he's nice and happy now. Uh, we still need to buy that, though. Right, okay, well, in which case, then, any fish that we have that need those, you're going to be sitting there for some time. Because there's not a great deal that we can do with do do with you, unfortunately. What we can do now, though, is maybe look to have a, just a really small tank in there with some coral. Do we have lights? We can stick on our. Uh... I don't know where I, where where do I find the light? They're in here, aren't they? Yeah, basic lights. This is five lumens, which is fine. Yeah, we could just quickly just whack a really small one in for those disco mushrooms. Just have a little, uh... Something in there like this. Actually, let's just go, let's just have a... Uh, 
Uh, no, we, we will just have a little basic tank here. Just a little one here. And we'll have some of these that can go in. Okay, right. Where is our pump? Pump will reach this one, which is good. Combi Mini, what do we need? Doesn't need much heat at all, does it? So that will do... Is that doing all of it? It will. Just a tiny little one. And then we just need to stick some... Not enough, not enough money, of course. How much? How much are the lights? I have got enough. Stop, stop chatting rubbish. And then we need some zooplankton to give it as well. How much is the zooplankton, please? Six hundred. Is everything more expensive in this playthrough? Or is it me? Am I going mad? Yeah, we're not far off from being able to actually let people in here. We've got two two little ones set up now. In fact, no, we've got three, haven't we? Because we've got that one fish who's got the entire tank to himself. At some point, we'll have to put we'll put some other fish in there with him. And that is a bit of a waste of the tank. Right. Okay. So, just to uh, recap on here. Lovely. Just a sea... Look at the state of that. The sea needle. Yeah, see, so we're, we're, we're at the point now where we're basically just needing to unlock anything we can just to keep fish coming through. The problem is, is that a lot of them are cold water fish, which means we can't use them yet because of the way in which we're doing our uh, designing. I'm assuming you're doing your fixing skill. You can load up cleaning. Um, I'm assuming you're doing fixing as well. You can level up feeding. And prestige from Harborside painted objects. Have we got Harborside? Which one is the Harborside? Is that the one that we've been... In fact, no, we don't. Oh, we do have it. It's that one. Um, We'll leave that one alone for now. We need to we need to uh, trim these down, don't we? We've also got these fish as well that we've uh, we've unlocked. Could these go in with that other one? Their shoulders. Those reef squirrel fish could go in there, couldn't they? Because they're not wimps. They don't like lights. They love caves. We'll have to put a little cave thing in there. We've we got space. Uh, yes, we've got space in the corner there for that. I think we could do that, you know? I think we could do... Oh, I haven't got enough money. I've got... Oh, it's cost me 1800 Okay, fine. Uh, yes, we've got that one. Uh, yes. The grouper, did we... Did we say yes to that? I feel like we've got those in. Yeah, they're, they're in there. Okay, we can get rid of that one. That's fine. Uh, fuzzy line dwarf fish. Just as intense. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's the Midas child one. Yeah, fine. Just There's just so much coming through <laughs> all the time. Okay. Right, I think. Well, we need to we need to set this area up to enable our guests to be happy when they do come through here. So I think we do we do this. Have 
Can't put wall bins in there just because there's no space in the walls behind. Okay, anything else that we need to go in here? What's this ecology poster again? When viewed by guests, ecology poster generates ecology and prestige depending on the contents of the attached tank. Oh, okay, so it doesn't actually need to go need to go directly because you can attach it. That is cool. almost does away with the need to have the uh, signs but the more info the merit it's generating lots of cool stuff for us we could potentially have one of those don't have enough money now we're actually be oh, we're, we're behind in money oh hello we need a uh, I've just realized what we do need in here the tool station Come on, let me place it. Hurry up. Do they get do they have two two toolkits? No, they don't. Two toolkits probably isn't going to be the worst idea though. Okay, another one done. Get that one out on the on the go. Why is this one suddenly Why is that suddenly not enough? Those do those things grow? Oh they do. Okay. That'd be why. In which case, just put a uh, just put a power combi on that one then, just to sort that out and keep that uh, keep that nice and <clears throat> nice and under wraps to make sure we don't have to worry about it again in the future. Right, we're going to put some ecology posters down, and then we're going to let people through. In fact, I'm going to let people through now. Off you go, chaps. You can get through. We're going to need a wall thingy, aren't we? Push them through into there. We even need one down here just to push them... Push them up that way. Money is proving a little bit of a struggle at the moment, isn't it? It doesn't help that we are literally spending it as quickly as we get it, but... Happy with how things are looking, though. Taking each little section slowly, making sure we build it out, making sure we give all the guests everything that we possibly can. Depending, of course, what we've unlocked up to that point. We're going to have to go back and tweak these areas as we go as we unlock more stuff, of course, but 
for the time being at least i think we are offering we have a good offering at the moment what was it about that he, that somebody just didn't like i just saw tank 14 looks a bit lifeless that's tank 14 isn't it well what do you want me to do with it that better put a few rocks in there does that make it look a bit better oh, what have we got now oh wait one of them's dead When did that happen? Yeah, they've grown. Humpback Snapper, they need a big ass tank. And they will grow very, very large. Okay, that's definitely worth keeping, uh, keeping an eye on those. So does that mean now that these guys are now not 100% happy because there's less of them? We've still got a lot of space in those tanks, in, to be brutally honest. wish there was a, a proper i mean that we've obviously got this button where we can speed things up a little bit probably do need to get a somebody in to do cleaning for, for zone two so you are okay yes you can do that and you will be assigned to zone two <clears throat> just trying to get some more money here okay so trigger fist has grown up that's fine an ancient gate yeah we'll take those room stand in there and we also need a okay well in it in reality everything is working well we are now beginning to make a little bit of money which is good but everything is working really well at the moment everything looks good we're unlocking lots of new fish to go along the way. Lots of posters and things for people to look at and see and do. Yep, this is going nicely. This is going nicely. So now we've got to think about what's going to go into this tank here. Uh, right, what have we got? So these are the only... We've got, got a few there. Uh, see, here we go. So we've got these freshwater. Lots of them. Right, I think the only thing that I really need to do is I need to quickly go and find out about this freshwater stuff. So give me a few minutes. Well, you won't have to because I'll cut straight back, but I'm going to go and quickly find out. The, how the fresh water works do i need some kind of equipment do i need a special kind of tank how does it all work because i need to know because we have now got quite a lot of fish that could go in there into one of these tanks or maybe even that big tank that i'm thinking about putting down here um but i need to know how it works so i'm going to keep the game running just to let me w uh, earn some money while we do it and then uh, yeah we'll be uh, we'll be good to go so let's uh, we're going to get one of those actually because that helps earn some more money jesus christ let me let me let me go right guys okay so we're back as you can see we've made a, a decent chunk of money let's just quickly uh check out this um amazonian angelfish requires acidic water right so uh just to kind of give everyone a bit of a um 
Ah, here we go. It's almost like it knew. It is actually almost like it knew. Um, so... Holding an RO membrane, school required fixed in time. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so actually, it's kind of a bit more simple than I thought it was going to be. It it would appear that all I have to do is add freshwater fish to a tank, and it sort of takes care of itself, which is a bit odd. Um, I thought there would be some machines to properly regulate it, but apparently not. Apparently, the water will just change from fresh water to salt water and back again depending on the fish that you put in um so yeah so that's all we all we need to do so all we're going to do now then it's as i just cover that up um so we've got these freshwater fish here now what the one key thing is that i can already see is that you've got this one here requires neutral water so there'll be some fish like the one we just saw in here requires acidic water you've even got red eyes look so we would actually have to have that machine that we just also were offered to actually make water more acidic and actually have this I don't even know what an RO machine stands for if that's even a thing um, regulate something maybe I don't know so yes so effectively all we've got to do is choose the fish that we want now I had a very quick look through while I was just sort of going through everything in my mind i think these two here are going to be a good starting point um these one needs to be a shoulder we can get those in quite quickly this tank here is a hundred in size so we've got loads and loads of room these guys need to be a shoulders of eight so we can have a bunch of them they both want fresh water they're actually a breeder as well so we could uh we can we can see that tank grow out um tank quality wise is pretty low they both want the open space they both want the same amount of plants they're pretty similar in fish these i think these two are a match made in heaven for for us so one two three four five six <laughs> stick a couple more in fact should we just uh, stick a couple more in eggs we got we got loads of space in there and then we need these ones and we need three of one two three again we'll stick a fourth one in there uh, and then we need so we've got to keep in mind we need this bogwood piece this also adds to acidity I don't think either of them wanted bogwood did they so that's absolutely fine we've also got new stuff here is this all stuff I've unlocked because I just decided to use a freshwater a freshwater tank or is it yeah maybe it is maybe it's, maybe it was always there maybe I've unlocked it at certain points when we uh, when we ranked up but anyway so we can have Lots of little things. We have to you have to keep in mind we need a two by two space, don't we? One, two, one, two. Yeah, I think that's so that corner up there probably. Like that. Keep a nice little two by two room spare over there. Now, we're gonna have to come over here, so we're gonna have our stuff in this corner here. And then we are gonna need uh we're gonna have to bring this out a little bit aren't we like that uh heater wise we are absolutely fine now large filter can i, can I bring it back even more can and then we can get a protein skimmer it doesn't appear to work on fresh water which is interesting We just stick another one of those like that there. That should give us everything we need. So that is now completely working. The only thing we do need to do is add in our, our blood worm dispenser. That is blood worm, I believe. Yes, it is. And there we go. So after, after all of my procrastinating, what on earth could you possibly be annoyed about? Who was that? I'm too thirsty heading home. He looks stressed. Yeah, well, he's just got in there. I need the toilet. I'm too hungry. I'm tired. Jesus Christ. We're very diva-ish people in this aquarium at the moment. Fine, I'll add some more. I'll add some more seats for everybody. Because everyone's tired. Uh, we do also have now, by the way, we've also got Hermit Crab. 
Hermit Crab Toy Shelf. Stick some of those around the place. And we will have a supply of them stuffed away each of the two places there. We should have... Is this now a staff skill to do this? Yeah, look. <laughs> so we're now... It's annoying that that doesn't appear earlier. Um, now... Currently allowed. Do you have to have a skill to do this? Is this the gift shop skill that you have to have? It is. It's a gift shop. So now is the question is, do we have somebody in these in zone one who's got a gift shop skill? We do not. We do in this one, though. I think you, Grace, are our cleaner currently, aren't you? Uh, let's do, do that. Fine. So Grace is okay in zone two, but we are going to need someone in zone one unless we wait for somebody to level up. And give them... We maybe wait for our cleaner to level up. How, can we see how close she is to leveling up? Don't think we can. Right, we've now unlocked all of the fish possible. We now need to wait for somebody in zone 1 to level up. We need to wait for our cleaner ideally to level up so that we can, uh, we can do that. What do they keep... What is it about that tank they don't like tank 14 still they still think it looks lifeless I mean, what else do they want me to put in there is that better a few shells god they did not walk out of there a bit weird I think we can have a uh, couple of data signs there for people to look at. But I'll be honest, I am really pleased with how this aquarium is shaping up. I know this is only, uh, what are we, episode three? I think we've done all right. It's right, Caleb was leveled up. Okay, give him some feeding skills. Uh, Sven, give him level up on the fixing. It's just always, always messages about stuff to be sold. Right, well, once again, we're at that point where we kind of need to wait for some money. Uh, I am happy, though, that we have basically got this completely fleshed out now. We've only got the one fish in here. And at the moment, we've got nothing else we can put in there. So that's something we're going to have to keep in mind for later. And other than that, we are good. We are really in a good spot. What is also pretty good. Look, you can see them walking around with hermit toys floating in front of them. Uh, yeah, one thing that is good at the moment as well is that all of the tasks are getting done. So that's one thing that always you've got to keep an eye out for is that when the tasks are not completed, they run over into the next day, especially food is the big one, um, then uh, you're in trouble. You need to hire more staff. But at the moment, it would appear at least that all of the tasks each day are getting completed quite quickly, which is enabling us to... Make sure that all the fish stay nice and healthy, all the tanks are up to date and uh, running at the correct water quality and heat and all that kind of stuff. So everything is working quite perfectly at the moment. How close are we to prestige? So we're still a little way off yet, but look at all the cool stuff that we get to do. Have we got anything else that we can do just to sort of generally decorate at the moment? I don't know if we do. So some different paints and stuff like that. Um, I mean, like the palm trees are kind of we could just could stick some like barrels down and maybe a there we go so that's kind of the, the nice little entrance there I think that looks quite cool you know I'm, I'm pretty pretty happy with how that looks and at some point as well I mean it's going to be a long time before we ever 
fully go all the way around to the exit. And at the moment, our people are literally just... <laughs> they are trapped inside this aquarium forever at this point. Uh, we'll do, do the protein skimmer, and then the next one we'll do the abyssal tank. Yeah, everyone is practically trapped in here at the moment. Really want a glass wall actually there. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think that's all right. Right, so we've got some good money. We can probably look to start thinking about building out. God, look at all this stuff now. Um, different animals, point value. We we'll take that one. Right, let's start. So this is this is where we're going to take them. Let's block that off for now. That's the wrong paint. It's the shipwreck paint that we want. We're going to take them off down there. And then they are going to come down this way. Do we need to maybe extend that out that way so we've got a, ba a back room part that's going to connect here? this out just a little a little bit more because I think the, the idea is, is we're gonna have a nice big ass tank in here so this big old floor tank here is depth two like so we just need to make sure we've got enough of a walkway around it kind of want them to maybe come down A little bit more before they uh, before they see it. So in, in theory, hopefully they don't really get a look at it before they get down there. There we go. Nice little floor tank. So this one, in theory, can now be a freshwater tank as well. We just now got to work out which ones can go together. Sinful barbers grown. That is fine. Get rid of those. Yeah, we'll take the guess. Oh, we haven't got... We can't do that. That's fine. <clears throat> uh, lots of things going to need fixing, whatever. We need that guy to level up so we can get this hermit crab shell fixer because I don't really want to employ another member of staff when I think that that skill can easily just be given to the cleaner because at the moment the cleaner is literally cleaning a couple of toilets and doing nothing else, maybe emptying some bins if they get overflown. Over... Overflowing, sorry. Right, I'm just going to maybe move that there. Maybe down a bit. Yeah, we'll move it down one. Like so. Um, and then we've got to... We have to be a little bit careful. It's quite a big tank, so we are going to need to... This area over here is going to be where the pumps are. I've got 1,600. I'm, I'm, I don't want to pull the trigger just yet. Actually, could we... No, don't do that. Uh, where is this one? The chitch lids. Maybe we do... Maybe we finally get rid of that one. This one here. So they're freshwater anyway. They're breeders. They need to be in a big group. They grow up to size 10. I think maybe we just stick those in there. They're going to be quite big fish. So it would be cool to look at, I guess. That would be uh, one element of it. 
Our bullies. Territory. If more than one combined size of Minas Charge must not exceed. If there are more than one, the combined size of Minas Chichlis must not exceed 50% of tank capacity. There are... S so... If I'm reading that right... I don't know if they can all go in there. If there are more than one, combined, the combined size of Minas Chichlid must not exceed 50%. I think that's combined as in all of them together. Now, they're all going to go to size 10. There's going to be 70 of them. The tank is, what, 100? So that means it'll be a 70%, not 50. So I don't think they can all go in there and they're breeders. Okay, so that's not the tank to use for them then. Could we... One of them, we've got a guppy challenge. If we really breed a fuchsia inked guppy. We don't have a fuchsia inked guppy. Is that another one we've been we've been given? Fuchsia inked. Okay, so that's maybe just one of the DNA spin-offs. Okay. Right, these are not territorial. They are hybrids as well. So you could stick them in there with maybe these guys. Oh no, they're bullies and they're wimps. That ain't gonna work. Um, convict chitchlers, can they go in there? They seem fairly comfortable, don't they? Only so I see. I think these two can go together then. Okay. All right, we're at 2,900. I think we've got enough to go for this. How many? How many did? How many did I just put in there? Five. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll get those in there. Probably can stick a couple more. Probably can stick a couple more of each in there, to be honest, because it's quite a uh, quite a small uh, quite a small fish for some for some big tanks in there. I don't think just because purely because they're bullies, they can't they cannot go in there. That's fine. Right, power pump. Large heater. Power combi. And then another large filter. That should do the trick. And then we've got blood worms and brine shrimps. We are going to need to extend zone two to include all of this. Fine. We're well, gonna need a door on there as well, so we'll have a we'll have a little. Uh, let's just buy the buy this out. Paint all that up, and then we'll have a camouflage door there, which also also needs painting. And then, what was it it needed? It was shrimp, wasn't it? Brine shrimp. We've got enough money for this. Yes, we have. Like so. And then... Right, that can... We can get that running. Fresh water. Might as well, let's put some of these decorations in. It doesn't matter that it's... Actually, no, it doesn't sit right with me. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. We'll wait until we go into the Greek area before we start using those. Um, right, let's get some. I mean, dare I say it, even though obviously no one is going to fall in, I sort of feel like we should do this around the outside of this tank. Of 
obviously no one is going to fall in, but I just feel like from a visual perspective, it is absolutely necessary for that for us to do that. Uh, pity column. No, don't need to worry about that. Logan, now what were you doing, Logan? Was I think you were the guy from that I wanted to level up, weren't you? In zone one cleaning, yes you were. Learn gift shop, son. There you go, right. So now, Logan, you don't need to do any of that. But you can now go and fill up the other bits and pieces. We are just going to need to double check. Uh, I mean, you can't, doesn't matter that you can do that anyway. Jennifer, you are fixing. I don't want you doing any of that or that. Jill, uh, I think I've got you down for feeding as well. So just turn all that off. <clears throat> it would be nice if there was a um, an easy way to do this is just say, right, just select feeding. And then if you want to drill down in the feeding in terms of what which specific types of feed they can use, then do that. But having to go through each one individually and say, no, you can't do this, no, you can't do this. And then have them added to as new types of food are unlocked is kind of irritating. Uh, right, so Logan, yeah, you're fine. I've sorted you. Uh, you are, I think you're meant to be doing just fixing. And you're in feeding. You're fine. Over here. Uh, I'm going to turn you off from that. And just keep you on the feeding. And I'm going to get somebody else to come in and do the, uh, the fixing. I know I don't necessarily have to turn these off because he doesn't have the skill. So therefore, he's not going to do it anyway. But it's... It's tidy. It, it makes sure that I know that they're not doing things that they shouldn't. Grace does that. So now we just need to, we need to hire one more person to come in. We're fixing. Yeah, you'll do. And then, so you go into there, Romeo, and you are. Nothing but fixing in zone two. Okay. There we go. Right. Keep the ball rolling. So after this then, so we're, we're almost at the end now of this episode. So after this, I think we're going to probably come down here a little bit more. Come back up on ourselves. And then as we go that way, that's when we'll get into the cold water section and some of the other bigger animals. Obviously, we've got an awful lot more fish that I'm, I'm probably even envisioning in my head. There's probably so much more stuff coming my way, but... Um, I want I want us to start working towards going back to that exit just so that people have got a way out. At the moment, the game doesn't punish you for the fact that people don't really have um, uh, a proper way to go towards the exit. So, but I, I want to push people that way. Right, so we're just gonna we're gonna have to put in more. More seats around the place. More drinks and vending machines. Probably another toilet here as well, to be to be honest. So hide that in the corner, and we will need. We're gonna have a, we're gonna get an ecology posted down on this one. Or do we just get a some data science just because they're that little bit smaller? Like so, um, and then we'll need. Yeah, get a. of bins down like that right that should that should be everything we need to go through to go through then so hopefully we'll be once these guys breed we should be in a, in a good spot to finish that one off 
Um, Chitzlids, maybe, is the next one we look at. Maybe we get much, just a much bigger tank. I mean, how big can that Belfast tank go? Yeah, maybe that's the tank to put those Chitzlids in. We've also got a jetty tank now as well. Let's not forget. We've got this one where, we, uh, where they can step over. I feel like maybe that should be reserved for some of the, the really high prestige animals. Things like sharks and, and that kind of stuff. Which we don't have any of yet. Uh, but we are also rapidly working our way towards rank 6. Which is great. And I think some of these other ones here. We probably... This might actually be it. Maybe, maybe one more section for the for this sort of theme if you like before we move on and and start painting something different we've got the knuckle blue knuckle hermit crabs now if i remember rightly these guys so we maybe get a little small tank in somewhere for these guys to have some uh to have a home a little small a little small one there it also wants three different animals in there which isn't ideal so we i don't want to double up on fish Unless I can find find a, ho a home for them somewhere else where they're not going to get eaten. I'm pretty sure a lot of these guys... What size are they? They're size 2. So they are definitely getting eaten in that one. We know they won't go in this one with this guy because he'll eat them. Can't go in there. That's fresh water. That's fresh water and they can't go in there. So yeah, so they're not going to go anywhere in there. Um... We need a space of 12 off straight off the bat. What about you guys? Will you eat crustaceans? Yeah, you will. So they can't go in there. That's full up. That's full up. That's full up. And that's practically full up as well. So there is there is no room at the inn currently. Let's uh, push people. Wait. It's a shame that you can't uh, one of these days. Guess we'll only follow a given arrow once during the bit. Ah! Oh my god! How have I not got that information before? They will only follow the sign on the floor once. My word. Well, that makes absolute and total sense. Because otherwise, they would never, ever leave the aquarium unless you built a complete circle around the outside of your aquarium. Right, okay. Well, that's that's good. That is that is, that is good. Uh, right, ladies and gentlemen, I think that is where we are going to um, hold fire. That's going to start turning some of these down. Um, yeah, that is where we're going to hold fire. This has been a very, very profitable episode i feel i feel like i don't know how long we've been recording for how long have we been recording for just over an hour so by the time i trim this down it'd be around the hour mark probably with that little break in the middle when i was trying to work out how the hell you do a freshwater tank um but yeah this is looking quite nice i'm i'm pleased with how this is looking it's a, it's a nice layout obviously when we're looking from this level it doesn't look quite so good but if we zoom in and have a little maybe we should do that i tell you what before we end let's go and have a little wander around our aquarium shall we so we'll come in like one of our guests. We go through this nice little archway like this. And look at this. I think this looks really cool. We turn around. We've got that to look at as through the entrance. We've got some more decorating to do at some point. I'm, I'm almost certain. Maybe we move that bin just out of the way. It's kind of a bit in the way there, isn't it? So we've got our first little tank here. Very, very cool. You can see them all swimming around. Um, that's a problem. Do we need to block off the back part of these tanks so that you can't see straight through? Again, not a major problem, but just a bit of a noise. You can literally see everything that is happening through the back there. Anyway, there's a, a toilet there. We come down here. We've got our little hermit crab thing here. If anyone wants a little fluffy toy. And so our next little tank, only a couple of fishies in this one, but they're all quite large fish. Another toilet. We've got some vending machines. Our zebra eels in there. One fish that obviously doesn't like to be with anybody else. Look at these big big boys. 
Okay, looking good there. And then we're into another archery and we're thinking, oh, okay, where are we going now? And look at this. I think this looks really cool. I'm really pleased with this. Literally just the lone fish in there. At some point you will have some friends, I promise. Right now you are all on your own. Hello. That's a cool tank. I like that one. Another toilet over there. We've got this little floor one here. With our little disco mushrooms. Nice big tank here. They've obviously got the shoulders. You can see that they are sort of sticking together and swimming around with each other. At some point, I think both of or is it maybe those ones in the corner? Those are the ones that breed. So at some point, we'll get some more of those in and there'll be little baby fish swimming around. And then finally, we come through here. I like the little the glass divider on the top here so you can just kind of look down. Almost like you're looking into a pond. And look down onto these little guppies. Uh, and is it uh, chitchlids? These is it the convict chitchlids that are in there? I think it is. And then yeah, just everything looks quite cool. I am genuinely quite pleased with this. Um, I think so pleased. In fact, when I go in this, I'm going to take myself a. Uh, let's go all the way over to this side, shall we? I'm going to take ourselves another little screenshot of things here. Magic. There we go. Right, ladies and gentlemen, that is where we are going to end. I thank you very much for watching this episode. Uh, we've got a lot done in this one. Episode 2 was a little bit of a staller. We didn't get as much done in episode 2 that I wanted. But episode 3 has definitely kicked on a notch. We've got a ton of things done. Hope you guys are enjoying watching along with this one. I think this is going to be a pretty epic aquarium by the time we're finished with this. Um, I'm really enjoying this game. I've loved this game so much. It's so chill. It's so relaxing. So let me know in the comments down below if you've got any suggestions, ideas you can want me to, to throw in anything that I've missed along the way. Um, so all that good stuff. Make sure you like, make sure you sub, make sure you ring the notification bell, and we'll see you all in episode number four.